Blinking red, we're on. Right now we're on Arnold's Way. I'm next to my three of my favorite people. Paul, the best whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Came from Michigan to learn learn to trade. And right now he asked us to do a video about Arnold's Way, what we have here, so people back in Michigan see. Next, this is Jesse. Jesse is my favorite ever also. <laughs> We have so much in common, but she's our chef. She also, we did a book together. We did a lot of films, and she wants to move to Portland, Oregon. So if anybody out there knows anybody, Portland, Oregon, who wants a chef, over a chef, this is her. Next, Brian. Brian's also my favorite. The best, I mean, all these people are the best ever. They are. <laughs> Brian is author of uh, foodpower.com, and he's also helped me uh, actually wrote a book of a live. And actually, what he wants to do, we want to set up, uh, we want to be uh, the largest, the only, only, raw food capital in the in the world, actually. And right now we have at least seven, eight people in here, and you'll see them as we walk along. Who are the raw food? Anyway, hey boy, I should do a video. We're at ground zero right now. We have another two years to change the world. That's what we're going to do. We have Jesse's help, Brian's help, Dimitri's help, and Paul's going to do it in Michigan. This is our state. Mike, just want you to read it. Arnold's Way mission statement is to create an energetic movement for the transformation of a disease-free Montgomery County. Okay, and my statement is actually the world. So our goal is what we do, we have something called a 38 program. Every month we take anywhere from 10 to 30 people. We pay them $350 a week, a month. We literally pay them $350 in food for them to become vegan. Right now we have about almost 200 people who finish a program. Hopefully in the next two years we'll get anywhere from another two to 400 people to continue it. When that happens, the world changes. That's the goal. Okay, number one. These are nuts. Okay. That's okay. If you notice, I have monkeys all around the place. Monkeys are my inspiration for changing the world. Once, it's based on 101 monkey theory. I won't go into it, but once 101 monkey theory is know how to uh, eat right, the whole world knows it. Well, we're doing the same thing as the Greensmiths. Once everybody's drinking Greensmiths and Lansdale, the world changes. That's the goal. Next, this is our nuts. What we do is try to have a, as much as possible a good variety for the people. We have basically live in a blue collar town, which we're going to show Paul. What we're doing here can be done anywhere, any place in the country. We think he's got a lot of passion, a lot of persistence, and willing to do the same thing over and over and over, day in, day out. Next. Here's our pie selection. Our pies are probably the best ever. It's all raw pies. We have coconut pie, carrot pie, chocolate mousse, maca cheese steak. Next are tunas and cheeses. Our tunas and cheeses are also made from nuts. But basically, if you would close your eyes, you would not know the difference. Which means I'm saying to you, for the most part, any food can be mimicked by, by vegetarian diet. You're talking about burgers, you're talking about steaks, you're talking about tuna fish, you're talking about uh, whatever. I mean, pork. We can't do pork, but I'm sure we can do pork. These are all our breads. We make all our breads. They're from uh, carrot, flaxseed, and veggies, uh, buckwheat, and uh, buckwheat and flax. For the most part, our bread is it's all raw, which means we're saying to you, you got to have a healthy diet, eating a standard American diet, but in a raw vegan style, which means we can serve, we make our burgers from carrots, uh, flaxseed, and onions. We make our bread from flaxseed, uh, buckwheat, and veggies. Everything we do is raw, everything's vegan, everything's organic. Next, we have regular bread and we have sweet bread. We also have our kale chips. This is the replacement of popcorn. You go in a movie theater, you will never eat popcorn again. And this is fairly easy to make. What we do is use uh, kale, garlic, nutritional yeast. Anything you want to say, Paul? No. Next. Kitchen. Next, this, this. First of all, we do is we ran out of help right now. So this girl walked in. Her name is Kathy, and we, she, we said to her, work in the kitchen right now, she said, I have no idea what I'm doing. I said, fine, doesn't really matter. We have a lot of volunteers who will help us make Lanto the largest raw food capital in the world, and Kathy's come specifically from New Jersey to help us in that movement. Yep. These are all our bananas. We go for almost 700 bananas a week, 700, 700, no, 700 pounds per week. 700 pounds per week, what we do is we make our banana whips, we eat smoothies, we make our uh, uh, chocolate pudding, we make our banana bread, we make our pancakes. Let me see pancakes. Let me 
You make up pancakes from bananas. I mean, these pancakes will give high IHOP pancakes a run for the money. It's also fast, easy, and better yet, it's nutritionally dense. We challenge any pancake house to have better pancakes than us at, at the cost we at our cost. We charge you almost next to nothing for it. These are bananas. All actually, all this was peeled. All these been ready to be peeled. These are all our toppings. We have uh, cow, nibs, coconut, uh, carob, granola. All this we make ourselves. Next. One of our biggest seller. The best ever. Burgers. These burgers are from carrots, uh, flaxseed, onions, celery, cumin, and a little salt. Which means we can go to any restaurant. Which we like, to, we're not gonna do, but with any restaurant out there can serve burgers, no meat. They can serve fish, no fish. They can serve bread with no bread. We're telling you that, that the average American will go to our place, eat a, eat a, eat a uh, standard American diet, raw, organic, with no meat, chicken, fish, or and eggs. Okay, that is, this is our juice bar with the juices. We have all types of juices here. This is our wheatgrass. This is our uh, banana wet machine where we serve ice cream. Can't really give you a sample. We serve ice cream made from just bananas. Our bananas is a meal or dessert and it doesn't matter. Next. These are our two blenders. For the most part, the average person can set up, make it, uh, set up their house in a real easy manner with no stove, no, uh, no fire, and have an all American meal just by using fruits and vegetables. These are our dehydrators. That's our bread. What we do is every single day we have, we're making bread. This is carrots, black seed, buffalo. You want to say anything, Paul? No, no. Huh? Can you make a raw food in a microwave? You could be in the nutrients. Okay. You could be in the nutrients. The thing is, we want, we want nutrient dense food with no angio digestion that doesn't harm the earth. Right now, we have these two beautiful girls that are coming to work here. Arms with philosophy is based on love. Lots of love, lots of hugs for everyone. See this girl, if I touch her, she's going to stop working immediately. <laughs> next. Okay. Next, we have our, this is our more bread, fruit, is more a nuts, nuts section, granola. Over here is our dates. Our dates are, um, actually our dates are nutrient dense food, which means a lot of my diet is based on bananas and dates. So we sell something called a green smoothie bag. Whatever this is. What people want to know, to me green smoothie is the key for making a, a stand on a raw food diet. Next, uh, uh, more books. Uh, this is my, um, 22nd year in business, I'm age 66 years old. And what I've done essentially is reinvent myself every single year. This year I've got four books. My goal is to create an energetic movement for transformation of disease free world. That's what I'm serious about. We have a lot of book writers here. We have Brian wrote Alive. Say hi, Brian. Hey, how are you? Brian wrote Alive. We have Megan. Megan is one of my all-stars. She started with me for three and a half years. She now wrote her own book. This is me and Jesse's book. Our goal is serious. What we do is month after month we take people, change them on a raw, change them on a raw food diet. For the most part, after 30 days, we do see a difference. Next. This is other stuff that we carry. Other stuff is, um, I would say, called supplemental food, not really essential, but this is get people like transitionary food. Next. These are our books. The whole key about what we do is we, we, we have a cafe, but our focus is on education. We have a cafe our edu on education. This here is a typical meal. This is served for, this is a cheeseburger. A cheeseburger with no bread, no cheese, no burger. <laughs> At the same price. Next. If you notice here, this here is the key. Like during the day, we've got anywhere from five to eight people sitting here. Which means every month I take anywhere from 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 people. We feed them every single day for three dollars a day. Three dollars a day and 33 cents. You would think I lose money, but I don't lose any money. As of today, I haven't lost any money. 
and then we should sit here and discuss ways on how they, they become more uh, health oriented. When we would take an average person, for the most part, we talk about breast cancer, bipolar, fibromyalgia, Lyme disease, asthma, uh, depression, uh, schizophrenia, uh, or which means this month, we're, we're, this month, we just started writing a book of my success stories. I gave out 50 sheets to 50 different people in regards to uh, sharing their story on, on how the raw food, uh, how how way has, has, has impacted their health and well-being. 50 papers from one area. 50, not one, not two. The average community in the United States of 10,000 people has one person, maybe two. All of them maybe has 10. Lands at least 50, 50 stories. Anyway, this is this is, this is the uh, community center. This here, people come in here, and what they do, they sit down and read a book. <laughs> they sit down, right? Yeah. How long did you drive to get here? Two hours. Two hours for, a, and how long do you think it'll take you to eat? Maybe an hour. Maybe an hour. So two hours to drive here, two hours back, that's at, least, I mean, that's at least six, seven hours of your day focused on being here, right? Yeah. And how is it so far? You don't even know me, do you? <laughs> okay, a next. Bit, a little bit. Anyway, this is it. We have the water. These are some of the books. We really focus on um, a fruitarian lifestyle. That's what I really major focus on. For the most part, what I see, anybody who continues to eat fruit should see a difference within 30 days. Anything else, Paul? No, this has been great, Arnold. Thanks for the tour. That's, this is a tour bus. Actually, the tour is only 800 square feet. 800 square feet, and what we're doing is we're making a, a major impact in the world. What we do is, one of the, one of the, I would say, at least two, three times a week, we put up videos on the way at youtube.com or Facebook me. Every single week, we have at least two to three success stories. This, month, this week, we had a fibromyalgia, chronic, chronic uh, fatigue. Uh, we're working now, we're going to Lyme disease. We've been sick for four years. I told him. I told. I told him to give me 30 days. We also have a, a church pastor. He had heart fibrillation before he came in here. Epilepsy. Apple absolutely. I mean, every single day, we deal with people with major illnesses. We we t we we pay them. So listen, we will give you $40 of food for $100 if you do our program. It's almost a no-brainer, and those people will follow the program, and we have almost a 90% success rate to get results. Almost 90% success rate. And we'll we'll come out with booking um February with some of the success stories. Anything else you want to say, Brian? I think that covers our own. Brian is the author of Fruit Power, the largest magazine in the world. Largest fruit power magazine in the world. And we're working together to have one of us like a mini uh yeah. Journey Forces with Arnold. Uh, it's kinda of like an incubator. We're thinking of all these different ideas, all these different book projects. And we want to put Arnold's Way more on the raw food map. This popular Woodstock Fruit Festival, and a lot of people come to the United States, maybe for the only time in their lives. So we want to welcome them here for a three-day experience. We have a festival, and then they can go to Woodstock right afterward. So we think that will appeal to lots of different people. Our very supportive community in Lansdale, but we're looking to try to get worldwide attention about lots of exciting things going on here. And the reason why I'm trying to get worldwide attention is we know for the most part, the change of diet, feel that every moment is a moment of love, the disease rate is full, should go down dramatically by almost 50 to 70, 80 percent. We also know if your heart is filled with love, almost impossible to go to war. That's the goal of, of, of those of the community in Lansdale. Create an energetic movement for a transformation of a disease-free world. The end.